Welcome to Empower TV. My name is Josephine Campbell, but Empower TV is about you. This is a channel for you who like to empower yourself and your business so you can strengthen your leadership, get more success and happiness. And today I want to show you a super useful tool for innovation. It's a tool that is called Value Proposition Canvas. It is made by the same authors who did the Business Model Canvas, if you're familiar with that tool. In the Business Model Canvas, there are nine building blocks. And the most difficult one of those is the centerpiece, which is the value proposition. Value proposition is really the reason why we buy something. And from the many, many, many workshops I've done in companies, I find that this is the most difficult to fill in. And probably did the authors of this model also find, and that's probably why they developed this model and published it after the business model canvas. So the value proposition, the reason why we buy, is very often something that is emotional, not logic. Sometimes when I do this, use this tool in companies and I work with engineers and uh, people with financial business backgrounds, they're people who think very logically. And, and so do I, but, and we like to think of ourselves as logical beings, but we are not. Our limbic brain is, it's the part of the brain that is emotional, is stronger and bigger than the frontal lobe. So in effect, people are actually making decisions also about what to buy in business to business from their emotions. So looking at the canvas, and let me explain you how it works, because it's very simple. We have three fields and one is called jobs. Jobs is not just the rational thing we're trying to do, it's also emotional and social. Here we have pain and here we have gain. So for example, let's say I'm, I'm gonna go on a travel and I wanna find a place to sleep. I can choose between Airbnb and, I, and Hilton, like a traditional hotel. So the job I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a place to sleep. But if, for example, if I'm the typical Airbnb user, I would probably also look for something authentic and a little taste of the local culture. And maybe I want more experience than what you get from a traditional hotel. Maybe I even like to meet some locals. So there are some emotional and social jobs as well. My pain is that I don't have a place to sleep, but maybe my pain is also that I'm bored or I, I want to have more experiences. And the gain is safety, I get a bed, I get a place to sleep, but it could also be that I meet some local people, I have an authentic cultural experience. And maybe that's why Airbnb is doing so much better than the traditional hotels are doing at the moment. They know their users and they are looking at the user as an emotional being trying to cater to what we really want. So you should, if you want to do innovation, you should st try and start using this tool, begin the whole process mapping what your users want. You can start just using your own assumptions. But at some point, you gotta get out there, you gotta talk to the users, or you gotta send some anthropologist who can up, make observations and collect qualitative data about what people, the people you're trying to cater to, what they really, really want. Okay, so I hope you found that this is inspiring, and I hope that this is enough for you to start the process yourself. If not, you're more than welcome to contact me. You can um, write in the comment box below this video on YouTube um, or you can contact me um, on hello at josephinecampbell.com. We'd love to hear what you think about the video, so please give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down and subscribe if you want more. Thank you for watching. Bye.